Welcome back for another YouTube video. So today I'm actually going to be reviewing these recovery tracks from Vic Offroad was kind enough to send me a pair. Try them out. So I'm going to be using it as a bridge, you know, using it as to, to get me out of the mud. I'm heading out to Prayer City tomorrow. I hope I said that correctly. First time out there. It's close to me. It's about, uh, I think, hour and a half from where I am. So today I'm just going to showcase them both, kind of side by side next to each other. Already from the box, I can see that Vic Offroading is already a lot thinner compared to the x -Bulls. But let's check them out. And I'm sorry if it gets dark in here. I'm, I'm in the shed. I'm in my shed right now because it's super windy outside. Only in California will you get in your car in the morning, turn your heater on, and in the afternoon you're turning your AC on. Go figure. Right now it's it's a windstorm out there. So I'm in here. Just gonna go over this real quick, and then so I can leave it for tomorrow to just showcase me using them. So let's see. Let's compare them. All right, guys. So just by looking at them, I can tell you that the Vic Offroad recovery tracks are bigger. Um, not by a whole lot, but they're pretty, you know, pretty good size. So now that I got them here, so yeah, I read the specs earlier. They're 13 inches wide, 45 inches long, and when they're by themselves, it's about two inches. Stacked on top is four inches. That's that's great. I mean, I think I don't know what the Max tracks are, but they're pretty thin when you slap them on your car, which is a nice feature to have. But you know, compared to these, that's still pretty good. I, what I do like about them is just like the handles and stuff. Like to grab it, it's not awkward. You know, I have the X bowls right next to them, and the handle here is like like it's like for a toddler. I'm thinking. The hand gets stuck and. It is awkward to use. So yeah, and also too, looking at it, they got the teeth here. So the teeth are pretty nice to have. It gives you that extra, you know, that extra traction when you need it because obviously with our mud tires on, it'll just hook on and it'll get you out of that sticky situation a lot better versus the x Bull. Um, again, so these are the X-Bulls. I'm not really sure what the dimensions are, but they're, they're for sure bigger than two inches. Um, especially when they're stacked on each other, they do take up a lot of space. Um, and you can see here, there's no teeth on these. Now, Vic Offroad, I believe, does offer two. They offer this one with the teeth. I think it's about $100. I have the $100 ones, and I can tell you right off, they're, they look good. They look a lot more durable, and it looks like they're gonna get the job done. So tomorrow, like I said, I'm heading out to Prayer City. First time out there, so we shall see what you know is in store for us, but I'm excited. These look very durable. They look ready to rock and roll. So I'll give you guys my review tomorrow, and I'll catch you in the morning. All right, guys, so we're here at Prayer City? Prairie? I don't know, whatever. Might have butchered that, but we're here. You see if there's like a mud, mud pit somewhere. Try to get stuck. I'm gonna use these bad boys. I'm also gonna use these as a bridge. Um, I'm gonna climb on top of there, and we'll see kind of what it does and what happens. So my brother's gonna guide me the best he can. I wish us luck. guys so this is my brother's like second time we were in death valley the first time it didn't go so well so i think this is great if you're a beginner and you want to learn and you want to just get familiar with the vehicle or perhaps someone that you know that you want to get involved with it's good to teach them how to spot you know how to be a good spotter because you know it is a tricky situation sometimes you know it's very forgiving here but if you're out on a trail and it gets kind of difficult it might not be so forgiving so it's always good to get best practice you can for both the driver and the spotter so uh we're gonna head out to the uh, mud pit or the whatever you call that i'm not really sure <laughs> so uh, we'll catch you guys down there
Oh right, my god, dude, it, it looked like you were freaking swimming in there. <laughs> All the cheese you're dripping. Bruh. I didn't think you would just like submerge so quickly. Yeah. Oh my god. That was really cool, dude. <laughs> Alright guys, and if you're doing this, make sure you have your uh, breather kit um, rerouted from your differential. If not, then you'll obviously submerge your rear diff and the breather. So make sure you have that you know extension so you can do stuff like this and you don't have to worry. Yo, that's scary, dude. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It looked like you were going downhill. Yeah. All right, guys, on to the next one. <laughs> show you how I would use the recovery tracks and we'll see if it'll get us out of here. Get that sand out of there. And I'm putting it in the rear because it isn't a uh, two wheel drive right now. I just want to showcase if I can get out. So you see that? That's pretty much in a situation you would be like if you're in Pismo or you know in the snow. That's basically what you would use it for. Get it, shovel it out as much as you can. Dirt, snow, sand, as you can see. It gets me out pretty good. Ooh. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Guys, it's hot out here. So we're out here in Prairie City, I believe. I don't know, let's see if that'll focus. So it's like a little four x four obstacle course. There's a lot of fun things to do. Definitely if you have a stock car, don't be afraid to come out here. Uh, that is a challenge for next time. Kind of sad I didn't get to do it, but it is what it is. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. So, so let the camera focus there it is get in my sweaty face yeah so i'll pretty much do it um if i hit a trail soon i have a newborn at home so that's why i'm not really out too far or camping for a couple of days like how, how i'd want to so once my baby's a little bit older or once i can get just one weekend you know a couple of days if the wifey's okay with that fellas I'm, I'm pretty sure we all know the struggle you know I'll come out and, and showcase it a little bit better and more more in real life situations other than that I think they're they are a great recovery uh, track boards they're a great budget the, those the ones I have are I think hundred dollars overall I think they're good they're great for the budget and you know me I, I'm all about budget you know I have a kid at home I can't afford you know anything 
brand spanking new so you know you, you don't need the latest and greatest to get out there and have fun so I hope this video serves you well if you have any questions please feel free to message me on my Instagram or if, on my YouTube channel just leave a comment down there below and I'll get to it so with that being said I'll catch you guys later peace